Remember those old kitchens we grew up in? Closed, exposed shelves, ghee stains splattered on the walls and random appliances that your parents picked up from exhibitions that cluttered the space? Today, we prefer modular kitchens, a fast-growing concept in India where all your appliances are inbuilt so design and installation becomes fuss-free especially when space is already an issue. So if you're dreaming of a modular kitchen but you're also on a budget, I have 5 tips for you. Let's go! Hey everyone, I'm Pratna Vadwani, your interior designer and creator of beautiful functional spaces. And I'd like to welcome you to Live Space Home Nerd, where we deep dive into everything you've been wanting to know about design, furnishing and decor for your home. Tip number one, save on materials. Material selection for a kitchen can either shoot up your cost or drastically reduce it. So be wise while picking them. Think affordable but good quality because if you settle for the cheap ones, you'll probably end up spending double on repairs later. For cabinets, plywood with boiling water resistance is recommended for wet areas and MDF or engineered wood for normal dry areas. Speaking of cabinets, at Live Space, we use aqua block technology on our panels, so there's no way moisture can enter through the hermetically sealed edges. You definitely don't want that annoying leaking water drip drip situation through the cabinets, right? We've been there far too long. For your cabinet doors, Laminates are great because they come in a variety of colours and are easy to disinfect and clean. For your countertops, the most economical option is classic granite. It's durable, strong and heat resistant. As for flooring, stick to vitrified tiles that are easy to maintain. Same advice for your love life. Tip number two, have smart shelving. Another smart and functional way to design your kitchen on a budget is to pick open shelving. It not just makes everything easily accessible but also looks aesthetic because open shelves tend to create an airy feeling and it gives you a chance to display your best cookware. The only downside, you can never let them clutter. Tip number three, try backsplash. To add some colour to your kitchen walls without spending much, Consider a fun backsplash between the hob and the chimney. Not only does it protect your kitchen walls from grease and stains, you can also play with colours, patterns, tiles and finishes in your backsplash and keep the cabinet simple instead. To further cut costs, stick to plain tiles. Want a live space pro tip? Try the current trend of matching your backsplash material to your countertop material so it looks visually appealing as a single unit. Tip number four, covered up with paint. A fresh coat of paint acts like a transforming magic wand, especially for a kitchen. Think of it like an instant, inexpensive glow. Whitewashing is fine if you like to keep it neutral, but don't be afraid to go in for a bright color or a bold shade that contrasts with your backsplash. Just remember to pick a paint that can easily be wiped down and doesn't stain. Tip number five, Work with the layout. If you're renovating your kitchen, changing the existing layout to a whole different one will mean dropping some serious bucks. So unless it's completely disorganized and doesn't follow the golden rule of the hot, cold and wet zones in an equidistant triangle or what we call live space design science, don't change it. For smaller kitchens, L-shaped and parallel layouts are great choices for your budget and use. And with that, we've come to the end of this episode of Home Nerds with me, Pratna. I hope these cost-cutting tips help the next time you're designing your kitchen. Don't forget to tell us what you'd like to know more about in the comments below. And of course, hit like and subscribe now. See you soon.